Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing my general methodology when it comes to Active Directory hacking, and I will be also demonstrating how to perform Astro Roasting and Curb Roasting in this video against the machine called Sona. Please enjoy. I'm really, really, really just checking for usernames. That's really where my methodology goes. And here we go. This is... Yes. Perhaps, did I miss this earlier? Quite possible. But yeah, it's, it's, this is really just where my mind space is at, right? It's just using them, using them, using them. So. Um, Sophie Driver, Bowie Taylor. Hugo Bear, and then Steven Kerb. So let's all add all of this to our name file. And then let's once again generate that. Let's once again generate that with this tool right here. And then let's try that. So we found more users again, so that's good. We found we found F Smith as well. So this will not check for curve roasting, not mean Azure roasting. So let me use this tool right here. And let's check all well, let's check this new list that we have generated with Azure roasting. Okay. Um, so what we need is that we need the uh, we need a domain. Which again we can find easily like so. Let's just grab that right there. And then we need the IP of the domain controller. We have that on the target environment variable. And then the user file um, with all of the usernames. That is gonna be the generated one. And then we can output that into hashes. Let's try that. There we go. So it just took me some time to really find the, all of the usernames, but we got there eventually. And now we have something very workable, right? So, um, so I guess we can add it into the notes. Found a bunch more usernames from this website right here. Generated and Username list with this tool. Tested for Astro Pros thing. And it got a hash. Let's try cracking it, right? Let's try cracking this hash. So, this is good. Now we have hash 60. And as we can see, both of these are actually from the same user. This is the actual hash type right here. And this is the user. And this is the domain, right? And this is the rest of the hash. So yeah, and we can see right here, this is F Smith as well, just different capitalization. But uh, sure, we can take both, why not? We have it in the hash thickty, and then we can try cracking it with John the Ripper. So let's try John, word list, equals, user share, word list, at rocky thickty, and then against hashes.txt. So we are essentially at... We essentially completed this by finding all the usernames, 
just had to dig a bit further and now we're testing faster posting. And if successful truck cracking, yeah, we cracked the hash rates. Huh? So now we have a set of credentials, which is the truly amazing zone. First credential set. We have Eth Smith with the strokes 23. So the first thing that I do, we now really, there is a lot of openings, right? That really happened just because we found a pair of credentials. We could try authenticating this against every single protocol that's open, right? Um, like SMB, VinRAM, RDP, RPC, LDAP, right? We can get a lot more information now. And we can check, we can check Kerberos. By the way, when you check Kerberos once, right? After you have a set of credentials and it has it once, you don't really need to recheck it again because nothing really changes. Either the domain is vulnerable to curb roasting or it's really not, right? So we just need to check this once. That will be the first thing that I will be checking. So curb roast. We can do it like so. So this is the password section right there. And then F Smith, this is the user section right there. And then the domain will be placed right here. And the IP, once again, is target. And let's see if uh, any of the users are vulnerable to Kerberos thing. Mm. H. Smith. It seems like H. Smith is. So, so yeah, let's run this again. The okay, I think I recognize what's wrong here. This person is vulnerable to to curb roasting, but again, yeah, the clock skews too great. So, um, yeah, I think I have in my notes uh, something clock skew maybe. No. I think I should have something. Let's see, NT, something like that, yes. Okay, so let's try that first. R date. We can install that, sure. Let's try R date dash N. And then the target like so. We can try that again. Nope. Let's try the um, NTP date. Did I type that correctly? Let's try installing that as well. Let's try with the domain right here. And let's try the command once again. No. Let's try with IP. Also didn't for it. So we have a clock skew issue right there. Mm. Let's simply just Google it. Did I not run this? Okay. Okay, we can try this right here. 
simply just turn this off and then we possibly change it like so. There we go. So the clock skew issue right there, but there we have our hash. Awesome. So this is a EGS, right? So take it to running service. This is a Kerberos hash. So John should have an easy time uh, cracking this as well. So guess we can slam this into the notes as well. Try it, Kerberos thing. Found hash. Yeah, that's great. Uh, also fixed some clock skew issues huh? with. This doesn't hurt to add in, I suppose. But yeah, there we go. So let us try to actually crack the sash. Mm. And then TGS, like so. Let's see. H Smith. So, okay. The uh, H Smith and the T Smith seems to be using the uh, the same password. Interesting. Second credential set. Okay. So now we have a lot to test. It makes sense to check F Smith because we found him after. Uh, no, it's sorry. Let's see. Uh, H Smith. I mean, there we go. So it makes sense to check him first, in my opinion, for shell, etc., because uh, in CTFs, etc., they kind of wanted to be more like linear. So we found this first, then we found this after, because we couldn't have Kerberos to this user without getting access to this user. So we've tried Kerberos and crack that. Now let's try authenticate with every protocol, right? And that's exactly what we will be do doing. So H Smith. So yeah, that exciting. H Smith. Yeah, that's Let's try this. I misspelled the username. Okay, so this is a valid credential set. We can enumerate shares, etc., but we don't have a direct child, right? So. We can print money. Okay, I'll check this later. For now, I want to see if I can get a direct shell. That would be the most interesting. So let me check with the protocols that are open. Uh, let's, let's see. Been around. What is open? So let's check the ports again. LDAP is open. This is Veneram, by the way. This is open. Just didn't work. We don't have uh, 3389. That will be RDP, but that could be another thing to check. So yeah, that didn't work. What about F Smith? Do you have access to Veneram? So F Smith does have access to Veneram. That's good. Mm hmm. F Smith can get shell over Vinaram. 
So that was the first user that we found. Hmm. Let me check one thing. You can now enumerate, since we have credentials, the users. So we can see all of the users. So it really is just those users, and sometimes credentials will be left in a description field, but not in this case. So yeah, let us get Shell on um, Venerem using F Smith. All right. So we can use a tool called uh, Evolve Venerem. This is the IP. Estimate if it's the user and the password is this. Awesome. So now we can see the permissions. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video, but once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused with the offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.